Hey guys, Jared Wegman here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty. Focus Homes, your local custom home builder, and Focus Remodels when you love where you live and you want to make it better. Okay, here we are. So you can see I'm in a remote location today. Um, we've got uh, a lot going on, so let's get into it. This week, the news is the inventory shrink. This is so surprising. And what I mean by that is we had far more homes go pending then were listed um, dramatically. Remember a couple weeks ago we were almost equilibrium for that particular week in as much as we had about the same number of new pendings as we have new listings. But this week in Lakeland only 69 percent of the homes when pending were replaced by new listings and for the county only 77 percent of the new pendings were replaced by new listings. So that's a little bit of a change and also down when we talk later, you'll see that the actual total number of listings had very little change this week. So we'll go into that in just a second. All right, so as far as this week goes, um, we're all over the board. So there's two zip codes, 33803 and 33815, who had over 150, 160% more listings than new pendings, but the rest were depressed. So we had 46%, 52%, 58%, 70%, 76%. And then there was a couple that were at equilibrium, 33809 and 33812 were at 100%. So equal pendings, equal new listings. But we had a ton of them. So some of them were very low, like less than half. And so as you recall from previous recordings, that's uh, we're not replacing inventory. So that's really interesting uh, right now because we're such a seller's market. Um, average this week, we had average three bedroom, two bathroom sold and closed. Average size was 1729. Now the average list price went down to 189.84. Average sold price of 186.39. The average list price total was 325.006, with the average closed price of 319.078. The average sold price compared to list was 98% and average days on the market was 17. So you can see a little bit, a smidge of an easing on the pricing as far as the average sold to list. Now, when you look year over year for this specific week, it was almost the same as a year ago for this particular week year over year. But if you look at the year to date, um, it's pretty significant. We've got well over 20% overall the months, um, some months going up over in the 40s year over year. So there's things are happening. The shift is definitely occurring. You can feel it for sure. Average days on the market at 17. That's only a little bit down from previous weeks, 2018 respectively. We've got um, our pending sales were strong. We had uh, 424 in the county and 112 in Lakeland. So that was better than the week before. Um, those are pretty healthy numbers, uh, which is great. And we still know that people need houses. So there's not a question of that at all. Um, then we go down to our cancellations. Now this one you'll notice in the graph, we had a pretty big jump in cancellation. The number is still minuscule compared to all listings, but it's the highest that we've recorded over several months. There were 23 listings that were just canceled flat out. Uh, canceled, there was, um, there was only one that was withdrawn and only six that expired. Uh, but the 23 withdrawn is the largest number we've recorded in all the time we've recorded this number. Um, so that's a pretty big number, people just taking the home off the market. Um, so uh, I will say that generally if you've been in the house more than three years, there's going to be plenty of equity there. But if you've only been in in a year, then maybe those people are saying, hey, maybe it's not a good idea unless you have to move with work, job, house, or something. Average days of supply. Um, Sorry, the months of supply, you know we need six months for equilibrium. Um, we've got our latest numbers in, which happen to be the July numbers. We're at 27% of the needed houses. That's still an absolutely ginormous gap. 73% shortage is still a huge, huge number of houses that we need. Uh, so for every uh, 27 homes available, there's 100 buyers. That's, a, that's still a pretty big number, pretty big seller's market. But what you'll notice from your friends, a couple months ago, they may have had you know, 20, 30, 40 showings in the first weekend and 10, 15, 20 offers. Now, once it's priced correctly, it might be you know, six, seven, 10 showings, 
four offers and you're negotiating um, you know the best deals so that's just where we are um, on our give back goal we're very pleased we're at 37,853 thank you so much to everyone who allows us to to do that all the professional fees that we generate um, portions of that goes to the local charity so thank you very much for that um, our active listings actually went down in Lakeland so last week we were at 636 this week we're at 628 so that's the first time it's actually dipped for the county it was similar small numbers so last week was 3063 this week was 3047 so we're not talking a massive dip in the amount of active listings but I was surprised to see that there is less um, but it does correspond to the the higher number that's withdrawn small number altogether but still I was surprised that there was a dip and for the price drop you'll notice this week from last week in Lakeland there was only two more homes that price drop compared to last week so last week at 394 this is 396 so that's like a slowing uh, it didn't go down but it didn't go up dramatically either and unfortunately for Polk we're still at maxing out at the thousand plus listings with price changes so we, we really can't dig down on that one with that particular software uh, so that's where we are um, people still need houses we still are desperate for sellers uh, you probably don't know anybody who needs to sell but if you do then please let us talk to them uh, we'll help them get the most value for their dollars uh, for their houses um, look at the links below uh, you'll see about our cash offers or home swap um, you'll get links for the price drops so you can look at what's going on um, all those things and if you have any real estate questions please feel free to reach out at any time we're here to serve you as you can see on the shirt the little the little you is underlined is kind of subtle we have our magnifying glass in the house so focus group we're all about focusing on you it's all about you that's the tagline so we want to help you as much as you can and if you have any questions about what's going on uh, please let us know um, just a final thank you first Friday it was amazing until about 8 14 when the heavens opened <laughs> But it was an amazing turnout for Dog Days, so thank you for everybody that turned out. Really appreciate you. Uh, this, remember, the second Thursday of the month is the food truck rally, so that's always very exciting. And let me just have a quick look at the calendar to see if there's anything else I can share with you this particular week to see what's going on. Uh, no, not particularly this week. We farmers Market's back, so that's fantastic. We had August off, so that's all go. So that's it for now, guys. All right, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye.